Good morning. Happy Saturday, peeps. It's your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It.com. Ash Said It.com. Baby, babies, baby, babies. All right. So we're on a Saturday morning. It's a little gloomy out. The sun has not shown its beautiful face yet. You know, fingers crossed. We get some vitamin D. Get some vitamin D in the system. But yeah. So, ashsitit.com, ashsitit.com. The Ashsitit blog has been blowing up. Shout out to the Gwinnett Ballet Theater and those wonderful performers. The performers that I saw this past weekend were ages 14 to 18. And these look like grown people, y'all. And they look like they've been performing since they jumped out the womb. That, that, that would make the most sense. <laughs> So, shout out to them for that. That was an awesome, amazing, amazing task. Also, coming up on November the 5th, 2016, the Atlanta Hot and Spicy Festival goes down at Brookhaven. If you want more details on that, check out the Ash Set It blog. All right, I've got a feature of it on there, and you can get more information and getting tickets to the event. That's going to be really fun. It's going to be an awesome one. Going to be awesome. So, on this Saturday... It may be gloomy outside, but guess what? We are joyful. We are happy. We are enlightened. We are beautiful on the inside. All right? So we got we to gotta push forward with that. We have to push forward with that. I got a question earlier today from Tanisha. Tanisha asked me, Ash, there's this guy that I really like, and I want to know if I should take the aggressive on the situation or just let him come to me. Thank you, Tanisha, for your question. I feel as though... Let's play the traditionalist on this aspect of it. I am so for the female sitting back and not being the aggressor. Why? Because I feel like we've got a confusion that's been going on. And to each his own. Because some men want to be caught. But I don't feel like it's a woman's job to be the aggressor and go after the guy and, and, and scoop him up or whatever the case is. Even though that may work for some people. That may work for some people. Me personally, I don't go and chase men. That's not my cup of tea. That's not what I do. I can only talk for myself. And, but I have seen females that have been around me that have been the aggressor and have gone and gotten their man or scooped their man up or did whatever, whatever. And that worked for them. So it's all about preference, but I'm a traditionalist. I should say just let things happen organically, let things happen naturally, and don't force something to happen that maybe isn't meant to happen. Because not to the intent, if a guy really wants you, he's going to make it known. He's going to, he's going to make it known. He's going to make his feelings known about it, and he's going to come and scoop you up. You know? So, I would say also, and this is my personal opinion, that does not mean that everyone thinks like this, but when a female takes on the aggressor role in a courtship or dating type situation, where does that leave the man? Like, what's his, what, what's he doing? If she's doing all of the work, what's he doing? Exactly. Exactly. And I don't know about some of you out there, but I want a man that's a man, man. I don't want a man in a boy's mindset looking for someone to take care of him. That's not me. That's not me at all. Now, you guys can come together and compromise, of course, on certain things. And you come together as one unit and make a decision. But I don't agree with the female being the wholehearted aggressor in the situation. I don't agree with that. That's just my personal stance on it. That's just how I feel. That is just how I feel about it. So, it is what it is. Feel about it however you may. But, uh, yeah, I say sit back and let time tell what it's going to be. Now, yeah, true, we aren't going to be here forever. And if you want something, go after it. But if you want something real, you let it let it simmer on the stove for a little bit let it sit back and simmer so that's what I've got to say on this Saturday morning 
Yeah, I, I love you guys sending me questions at info at ashsetit.com, info at ashsetit.com. Periodically, I will try to get those answers out to you guys here on the Spreaker. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, uh, not woken up from my brain yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, but no. I think that we should all try a little bit harder to understand one another. We're in such a microwave mentality these days that everybody wants everything now, now, now. I want everything now, 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 now. Well, maybe you've got to work on some things. Maybe they have to work on some things. If it's meant to be, guess what? Nothing's going to stop it. But also, nothing's going to force it. So, if something is meant to happen, meant to be whatever, whatever the case is, I think that you should just let it organically happen. And if it doesn't happen, maybe it wasn't meant to happen. And that's okay, too. That is so okay. So, I say, let the man be the man in the situation. That's what I say. Yeah, some may say, oh, Ash, you're being this or that. But it's my opinion. It's my show. So, yeah, I would say just let it happen organically. If it's meant to happen, guess what? It'll happen anyway. Not because you did something in particular or you played some silly little game or, <laughs> excuse me, <clears throat> because you listened to your girlfriend who isn't in a relationship or dating anyone seriously. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I learned that lesson the hard way as well. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think that it is best to just let things naturally happen. If they're going to happen, they're going to happen. You know, live your life. Don't pause or put your life on hold because, oh, you're waiting for X, Y, and Z decision to be made. Or, oh, you're waiting for... No, don't wait on it. Just continue doing you. Continue living your life. And don't allow for anything, any man, woman, child, or anything to put your dream on hold, to put your life on hold for. No. Because guess what? If it's meant to happen, it's going to happen regardless. Not because you did this special little thing or you you called the psychics and they gave you advice. No. It's going to happen because that's how it's supposed to happen. And that's how I feel about it. So, yeah, that is what it is. But, um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you about that. But that's pretty much the story. I'm not going to dwell on it too, too much. But, yeah, I hope that you all have a great Saturday. You know, like I said, we're kind of awaiting the sun to show its marvelous face. Soon and very soon, we're claiming it. Yes, son. Let's uh, let's make this happen. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So let's make this happen. But I love you guys to pieces. Keep doing what you do, and continue to push forward. Please continue to push forward, no matter what. People are always going to have something to say about you. They're going to always have something negative to say. But when they have that negative thing to say about you, keep in mind: at one point, you were good to them. But they won't tell you about that. Then you you won't hear anything about that. Mm. No, all you're gonna hear is how horrible and gutter and treacherous she is. But they won't tell you about when you help feed their family. Or when you pick them up from the airport because their husband put them out. You won't hear about those stories, but mm, you hear about all the crazy stuff because you woke up and you stopped deciding to be somebody's plaything. But I digress. I'm the crazy one, though. Hmm. It said Breezy's crazy. Cray, cray. Cray, cray. Anyway. I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all to pieces. Mwah, 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 mwah. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Keep doing it up in a major, massive way. All right? Major, massive way. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, look them in the face and say, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. Because that's what we're doing this for. 
Or are we doing this for the history books? We're not doing this for social media fame. That stuff is cute, it's cool, it's helpful. But it's not the purpose. Not the purpose. So I love y'all. Dude up. Ashsetit.com. Ashsetit.com. Yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all later.